Hi everyone. Sorry it's been so long since I posted any video. I've been uh, busy doing a television programme, which is really cool. Soon to be aired. Anyway, I'm back at one of my favourite sites. This is where we uh, often recover exploded bits of ordnance. They were disposing of stuff up here during World War II. This place was a Royal Army Ordnance Corps depot, and at the end of the war they dealt with thousands of tons of old ordnance that wasn't needed anymore. And some of it ended up here and getting blown up. So, we've already found one thing. Now, can I turn this camera around? Yep, yeah, successfully turned it round. Who said I wasn't a professional? So, first thing we found, this was on the walk up to the location where we find most of the ordnance. And what we've got here is the base of a 40mm Bofors shell. You can see it's uh, all been blasted apart. This has been involved in a big explosion. And sometimes when we're really lucky, we found the uh, four round clips to these things as well. But this is great. First find on the walk up to the location where stuff is. Uh, this has been blown quite a distance. It's been blown about 50 yards away from where we find the biggest concentration of this stuff. But yeah, cool. That'll do to begin with. Tell you what, we're off to a really good start here. The first 40 mil Bofors shell case I found. I walked two paces away and found the top portion of the cartridge case itself. And now I've gone and found uh, something quite interesting, which is about three or four steps away, as I say. Oops, dropped the camera. This is the number three fuse from a Mark V British anti tank mine. And this one's nice because it's complete. So we've still got yeah, some of the mud for you. We've still got the little button on the top. And there's a shear wire on there. It takes about 300 kilos to break through it, but that releases the firing pin, sets off the mine. You can see this has been blown to pieces. The gain's gone. So yeah, really nice. Some of these are marked as well, which is brilliant. They say number three on them. <laughs> kind of gives it away what they are. Anyway, back to it. So I've just been digging up a little chunk of 40 mil Bofors shell case. There's so many chunks of it around here and little bits of drive band and parts of fuse. I'm having to be really picky with the detections that I actually go for. Um, interestingly, I was just about to get up from here and turn to one side and suddenly notice that line in the soil, which is part of the booster from one of the 40 mil Bofors shell cases. This would sit on top of the percussion cap and this carried a uh, a mini charge to set off the main charge in the shell case. You can see the holes in there through which the explosion, the initiation would come through and set off the main charge. That's quite a nice little find, especially considering it was on the surface. More of them means you don't have to dig so much. Got a very nice detection here, so I thought I'd do a bit of uh, filming of recovering something. Obviously, I don't know what it is. I've not dug it up yet, but it's quite a strong detection. I'm quite bored as well, which is what I'm looking for for these 40 mil bases. Well, that moved. I think it's out already. Excuse me, detector. Well, I don't think it's a nose fuse or a 40 mil Belfast base because I can't see anything. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, it's a number three. Anti-tank, uh, number three, Mark V, anti-tank mine fuse. Just half of the top has disappeared when it got detonated. Firing pin survived though, and the shear wire. There we go, there's another one. I think I've found the right kind of level now. Um, previously we found an awful lot of stuff up on that bank there, but that bank seems to be fairly empty now. So I've moved down the hill a little bit into the main field. I'm starting to get stuff a lot further away from that hill than I ever remember we used to. And it's getting, uh, getting quite handy now because there are some nice bits coming out. Just get this one out. It's, the, it's another base from a 40mm Bofors, but this one has been absolutely decimated. Look at that. The whole thing has just been blown to pieces. In line with what we know about this place, with there being a big detonation pit up here where they got rid of a lot of the unstable or useless ammunition that they've got stored around this area. Another piece though, that's pretty cool, not the World War II relic.
Awesome. More for the collection. We do find some strange stuff up here every now and again. We've had incendiary bomb tile breakers. We've even had point detonating fuses off old 75 mil obsolete American ammo. And just had this. Which is kind of expected, really. It looks like the um, very top of the nose fuse to a 40 mil Bofus shell. Obviously exploded and perfectly safe. But that's quite interesting. I've not had one of those before. But the HE shells themselves, the iron body part to it, but never one of the tips. I presume it's because they corrode away so quickly. This one's quite badly corroded, but savable. Might be marked up. Very nice. Right, just on the way back to the car. That really is a bloody awesome sight. Full of some really unusual World War II relics. I only have one problem with it, though. All those bankins stay in there for, you know, five or six hours get a decent dig in and it's always the same after about three hours I suddenly realise that my back is killing me because I've got so much stuff in my bag and then I look in my bag and my bag's full and I think oh god well the car's a good 20 minute walk away because that's the closest you can get so sorry keeping my eye on the ground thought that was something else then just the stone there's no point in walking back to the car and dropping stuff off and then going back again well, I suppose there would be, but I can't be asked. So, when I get back to the car, empty my bag out and show you what we've got. Got some cool stuff. Right, keep walking. Better look where I'm going. I don't really want to throw myself on the ground. Right, back at the car. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Let me hang that back wait a bit. Good lord. a couple of bits we got 40 mil both as bases one two three four five six seven you got that 40 mil nose fuse that's the remains of a 40 mil he shell uh, lots of bits of shell case we've got one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, something like that. Number three fuses from Mark V anti tap mines. Now, perhaps you can see why I was moaning that my bag was bloody heavy. That's a lot of metal to be lugging around. Lots of bits of drive band as well. There's another 40 mil base. Lots of bits of drive band as well. Obviously, when these shells blew apart like that, drive, gone, drive band got blown away as well. And they end up halfway down the field. Got loads of chunks of stuff. Yeah, not bad. In actual fact, I did find some other bits as well, which I'm sure you'll find interesting. Looks like they were getting rid of 50 cal and 20 mil ore lichens as well. And those up at the top of the field. Along with some, lots of buckles. Uh, other stuff, there's a, hmm, where is that a 30 cal or is it a 792? Looks like a 30 cal. Oh, 303 in there somewhere. Ooh. and a watch <laughs> uh, Accuist oh there you go, it's quite a posh watch posh watch, that's difficult to say oh we've got 303 in here so, yeah, there's another 30 didn't have a 303 in here I know I did there it is I always use that as a judge yeah they're 30 cows Thought they might be 792s, but they're not, they're 30 cows. Interesting. So there you go. Cartridge cases, 40 mil bofers, mine fuses, and a wristwatch. That ain't bad for three or four hours digging, is it now? Awesome. Laters.